today we are going to discuss worksheet 21 for class 10th in this worksheet I am showing a picture and this worksheet is generally based on this picture only you can see an iron an immersion rod and a bread heater so in this you can imagine that we are talking of heating effect of current okay so in this worksheet we will talk about the heating effect of current so first of all we will see what is heating effect of electric current when we say heating effect of electric current an electric circuit is purely resistive the source of energy conduits get dissipated entirely in the form of heat if an electric current is having higher resistance purely resistive means if it is having a higher resistance then the source of energy that means the electrical energy will be dissipated as heat and this is known as heating effect of electric current remember when we increase the resistance so much that the electrical energy we are applying is registered very much and because of that the heating effect is increased okay now consider that current i flowing through a resistor of r okay and the potential difference across it will be v let t be the time during which a charge q flows across it we are talking of current we are talking of resistance we are talking of potential difference and we are talking of charge q in time so the work done in moving charge q through a potential difference V is VQ okay therefore the source must supply energy equal to VQ in time T and hence the power input to the electric to the circuit by the source should be P is equal to V into Q upon T why we have written Q upon T as you have read about P is equal to VI and I is equal to Q upon T so we have replaced instead of I we can replace q upon t or instead of q upon t we can replace i so we get this formula p is equal to vi so the energy supplied to the circuit by the source in time t this will be the energy consumed formula energy supplied e is equal to p into t this formula will require in the numericals we can also write it e is equal to vi t because we have replaced p with this formula vi okay so energy is equivalent to the heat produced therefore e is equal to h we can write e equal to h so we can replace e with h so h is equal to v i t and we can also replace this v v is equal to i r so we can replace this v with the i r and your formula becomes h is equal to i square r t so this is known as joule's law of heating and this formula is also known as joule's law of heating now we'll see the next slide what is joule's law of heating so joule's law of heating according to the formula you have to remember this formula in this first you can see that it is directly proportional to the square of current okay secondly it is directly proportional to the resistance it is directly proportional to the time also so it is directly proportional to the all the three that means if the current is increased if resistance is increased and if time is increased all will increase the heating effect so if a wire in which the current is passed for a longer duration then also heating effect will increase in a wire when where the resistance is high then also heating effect will increase and if in a wire the current carried is higher then also the heating effect will be increased next is electric power so electric power what is electric power it is the rate at which electrical energy is consumed or dissipated in a electric circuit we have derived this formula p is equal to vi this can be replaced with this formula p is equal to i square r hope you will understand how we have got this p is equal to i square r or we can also write v square r all are replacement of this formula that instead of the v is equal to i r and instead of you can write r is equal to v upon i and i is equal to v upon r so this can be placed instead of this then it will become v square r if you place other formula it will become i, I square r so you can derive all these relation by this way the si unit of power is what this you have to remember the SI unit of power is watt and 1 watt 1 watt equals W 1 watt equals to 1 volt into 1 ampere 
okay so this you have to remember that 1 volt equals to 1 volt into 1 ampere but when we talk of commercial unit of energy it is kilowatt per hour so remember that whenever there is a commercial calculation if the power is given in watt you have to convert it into kilowatt hour in the numericals also this is to be remembered that whenever you are calculating in kilowatt hour the watt should be converted to kilowatt and time should be converted to hour okay then only we will get the correct answer so 1 kilowatt hour equals to 3.6 into 10 raised to power 6 joules so how we got this 3.6 into 10 raised to power 6 joules you can easily calculate 1 kilowatt means first I clear this so 1 kilowatt hour means 1000 watt and hour means 60 into 60 so it will come out to be 3.6 into 10 raised to power 6 joules okay so relationship between this commercial unit is this one you can see it from it now an example is given an electric bulb is connected to a 220 volt generator the current is 0 0.50 ampere what is the power so p is equal to vi we have been given voltage we have been been current so it will be 110 watt it's a simple one now <coughs> next applications of heating effect of current there are so many applications you can see heating effect is desirable in devices like electric heater wherever we are using el electricity around any heater iron bulb electric fuse all are the example of heating effect electric bulb the most of the power consumed by the filament appears as heat and this you can see electric bulb this is the filament you can see from here this is the filament now this filament is made up of what tungsten okay and this area this is filled with the gas it may be argon or nitrogen why we are taking argon or nitrogen because these are unreactive okay and then this is the outer glass cover again you can see filament of electric bulb is made up of tungsten as it does not oxidize readily at high temperature because it is having high melting point so at high temperature it does not oxidize this means don't react with oxygen present in air okay and the bulbs are filled with generally inactive gases like nitrogen and argon to prolong the life of the filament so that this filament survives for longer time now what are electric fuse it is a safety device that provide protects our electrical appliances in case of short circuiting and overloading this is the use that means it is a safety device I sh will show you the picture of an electric fuse this is the picture of an electric fuse this is a safety device okay this is used for protecting the circuit here we used to tie up a wire like this and this wire breaks when the current supply or the current in the circuit increases above the limit now this fuse wire is generally made of a metal or a alloy okay with appropriate melting point generally it is having a low melting point and as the current increases you have seen the heating effect as the current increase heating effect will increase and this wire will melts and break up so the electric supply to the inner circuit broke down it may be of aluminium copper iron or lead anything may be there always remember that these fuse are connected in series with the live wire okay that means the red wire which is in the circuit it is connected with it and current capacity of fuse is slightly higher than that of the appliances okay slightly higher we used to keep slight higher not very much higher suppose the it is a 3 amperes uh, 4.5 ampere is there the current requirement so we can place a 5 amperes uh, fuse there but we cannot put 10 ampere because this will be very much higher as compared to this next is these are the recent mcbs miniature circuit breakers which are used because whenever the high current will come this will trip and again when you lower down the load it will be set it again next is 
we come to the question answers first question is explain the joule's law of heating what is joule's law of heating when electric current passes through a conductor for some time the conductor gets heated up thus heating of a conductor due to flow of current through its is known as joule's law of heating and heat generated will be h is equal to i square rt next question is how does fuse wire protects electrical appliances the fuse wire breaks the circuit if a fault in appliance causes too much current to flow and this protects the wiring and the appliance if someone goes wrong the fuse contain a piece of wire that melts easily you can write from the exercise also there is worksheet also third is why is the tungsten used almost exclusively for filament of electric bulb tungsten is an electric is using like because it has high melting point and does not oxidize thus tungsten does not melt even when a large amount of heat is produced due to passage of current through the filament fourth question is very simple a fuse wire is connected to a live wire true or false yes true it is always connected to the live wire fifth is a numerical problem you have been given two appliances one a tv set 250 watt played for one hour and another is a 1200 watt toaster for 10 minutes which will use more energy so we'll solve it down first tv set power given is 250 watt we have converted it to kilowatt by dividing it by 1000 0.25 time given 1 hour and electrical energy to be calculated consumed so electrical energy is equal to p into t so 250 into 1 upon 1000 you can convert here into kilowatt hour or if you want to keep it this one you keep 0.25 into 1 it will be coming out to be 2.5 by 0.25 kilowatt hour for the tv set next is the toaster power given 1200 watts converted to kilowatt is 1.2 time 10 minutes we have converted it to hours so divided by 60 1 upon 6 hours electrical energy it will be p into t 1.2 into 1 upon 6 it will be 0.2 kilowatt hour so you can see tv set is using more energy than the toaster hope you like this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe this channel thank you